This is a video for advanced word processing for ECDL module AM3 and in particular we're going to be looking at formatting text. So we'll be looking at text wrapping options for graphical objects such as pictures, charts and tables in particular in this video. And this is from the ECDL advanced word processing syllabus version 2. So here I have some text and very often when we have an arrangement of text we, we want to put in pictures tables, graphs, charts and so on. So if I click on the text here and I insert an image, so I click on the insert tab and choose clip art just to insert a generic image. So here I'm searching for education and I'll stick in this picture of a nice lecturer and I'll click on that and that'll go into the text. So Word has a, a way of arranging the text around the picture. This is called text wrapping. And you see here, when the picture is highlighted, the Format tab for the Picture Tools comes up. And one of the options here is Text Wrapping. So we're going to be looking at the uh, variety of options that we can uh, select for text wrapping. So if I click on the Text Wrapping menu, you see here there's a whole list of uh, options. So let's have a look at some of these. If I choose Square, we see here that the image... Um, the text arranges itself around the image where the margins are um, along lines. In other words, the text doesn't, doesn't um, go, impinge on the image. Whereas here we see when I chose tight, the text will go right up to the image depending on the text wrapping um, borders. If I choose behind text, the image goes behind the text. And obviously if I choose in front of text, the image will cover the text. So you see here the man is covering the text there. If I choose top and bottom, well then the text will um, go above and below the image, but not anywhere on the same line. And if I choose through, it means that each line of the image, essentially, um, the text can, treats it as if it were text. Okay, there are several other layout options, so I can choose that by clicking on more and choosing the text wrapping tab. We see here that there are various wrap text options. In other words, if I only want the text to wrap on the left hand side, I can choose left only. So see here if I move the image across, the text only wraps on the left hand side. If I only want text to wrap on the right hand side, I can choose right only. And obviously if I only want text to wrap on the largest side, in other words the side with the largest amount of space, I can choose largest only. So there are three handy options for arranging text around uh, the image. Okay, the edit wrap points <coughs> allows me to define the um, outside of the image. And this is very useful for the true um, formatting option. So here I'm arranging the border around this image. And you can see now <coughs> that if I just... Um, arrange the uh, tight option again, we see that the text arrangement has changed. I'm just going to make that both sides again. <clears throat> so now, as I change the outline of the image, the text arranges itself uh, differently. So here I can just move that word slightly by moving the uh, outline of the image according to my um, text wrapping options. Another very similar um, idea is uh, with charts. So again, I'm just going to insert a chart here that I've copied. And we see here in the chart tools, the format options, we again have text wrapping options, which again show exactly the same um, array. The only difference is there are no edit wrap points here. We can't edit at the wrap points of a chart. So I could make a top and bottom, which would be quite common for a chart or true, or square, and so on. Okay, the last thing we look at in this video then is for tables, and this is um, just a little bit different. So here I'm going to insert a table. I'll make it just a bit smaller so we can have some fun with it, and move it up into the um, main area. We see here for a table, there's two tabs, including a layout tab. So if I click on the layout tab, 
now I click on properties and properties has a text wrapping section in the table area so either the text doesn't wrap around it or it does wrap around it so here we see none is, our, is um, selected even with none selected I can determine whether I want the table to be left, centre or right in the page by choosing one of those three options if I move it up we see that the, the <coughs> text remains to the left because I have the left option selected. Click on the layout tab again, click on my properties. As you see there, as I moved it up into the text, it automatically defaulted to the uh, around option. So when I move it into the text, even though I had selected none, it automatically moves it to around. If I, want, if I select none again, it will move it to uh, either above or below the text. I can play with around now if I choose around and now choose the position I can make it right, center, inside or outside. So if I choose center it means that the table will go to the center of the text. If I choose outside you see here that the table goes to the outside margin. 